Hey everybody, welcome to the homestead here. We're finding ourselves a little bit short of lumber for our greenhouse, so in this episode, we are cutting boards. Stick around. It's all about cutting the boards. We'll show you what kind of hassle we have to deal with when we cut cheap slab wood boards. All right, hey guys, so we are out here um, at the new location here I'm setting up. And uh, people are blowing my phone up, but um, that's cool. So I wanted to just show everybody the, uh, the saw setup here that I'm putting together. Um, let me show you the wood we're working on with. This is kind of what we're dealing with here. Uh, is all of this stuff here. So all of this wood um, was about 50, no, 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 40 bucks, 40 bucks. And so I should be able to get an average of two boards out of each one, two two by fours. So, I mean, that's like a hundred boards for 40 bucks. That's pretty good. Then to mill everything, I've got a little setup over here. It does not include the washing machine, but I was actually gonna use that, it's too tall. I had to use another table saw with no motor and bury it in the ground. So this is the setup. As you can see, it isn't perfectly level, actually. This table's lower, because what I found is when I saw um, the boards have a tendency to go down, not up anyway, so since I don't have rollers, I decided to put it a little bit lower. All we got to do now is plug everything in. We uh, needed an extension cord all the way to the shop, and it wasn't quite long enough, so we had to go grab yet another one. We're going to go ahead and hook everything up now, and uh, I'll show you the setup once we have it set up. The advanced tooling that we're using is just a plain old Jane freaking regular old table saw from Sears. What this means is that we're limited to three inches of actual cutting depth. That's as high as we can get the saw blade to come out of the surface of the table. So that means uh, the widest board we can make is three inches. So our quote two by fours are actually not two by fours, but in fact, one and three quarter by threes. But we just call them two by fours anyway. Um, and just cut all the boards at three inches, except for the really flat ones. Those ones I cut at six because they're like one and an eighth, one inch thick, and I cut them into six. They come in real handy for certain projects. I don't need a lot of them, but they do come in handy. So uh, whenever I have an opportunity to make those kind of boards cheap, I do. Six inch boards are usually not cheap, and obviously you can't cut a six inch board if it's uh, too thick on here.
got the first operation all done. We've cut up our all of the boards, all the rough cut boards to, or the slab wood, I mean to three inch rough cut boards. Now we need to mill the other dimension um, depending on the board. We've got three different types of boards that we're making um, now, which is a, uh, a two by four, which again I told you is not actually a two by four, but rather a uh, rather a one and three quarter by three. We're also gonna have one by fours, which are actually more like uh, seven eighths by three, you know, just under an inch by three. And also we are going to make quote two by twos, which are just one and three quarter by one and three quarter. We had a couple of boards that were really wide, but they were already milled at the sawmill thin enough, like an inch or so, or maybe uh, in some cases two inches thick. So I went ahead and milled those at six inches wide because it's really hard to come by two by sixes. You can't mill them with this method because the blade only goes out three unless you want to flip the board over, which I've done before, but oh my God, it's a pain in the ass. It's a real pain in the ass. It's, it's, it's not an efficient way to make boards and it's not worth it even doing it this way to save money. Um, so we just need to measure one more three inch dimension here. Leave this board the way that it is, but it's actually cut at two inches. And sure, I could use it at two inches, but to be consistent with the other boards, I'm going to go ahead and mill that quarter inch off anyway to make it one and three quarter by three, like the other boards. I realize these are not the same dimensions as commercial two by fours, which measure one and three quarter by three and a half after they're milled. Um, but I don't care because I'm the only one building with this wood and. Um, it works for my purposes, so that's what we're going with. We'll probably go ahead and do the two by twos first, just because they're easier to get through. Go ahead and measure off one three quarter. So now we've got a bunch of boards like this that are basically scraps left over from cutting the two by four studs. These can still be used as two by two. Uh, you know, little short links. I have uses for types of wood like this, so I'm going to go ahead and cut these up so as not to waste them.
of our 2 by 2s are done. Go ahead and start on the 2 by 4s happens a lot. I uh, cut through three inches of material. It's definitely stressful on the motor. And, uh, I think I'm going to kill this motor. Thanks for sticking around. We got our boards cut. And uh, in the next episode, we'll go over um, assembly of these troughs and show you exactly how I put everything together. So, until then, stay cool. It's hot as freaking hell out here. Have a great day. Peace.